Well, after four years of ownership this week and countless mods, well over 100 mods, these are the top five most impactful, biggest difference, and I guess best bang for your buck, if you want to say that. So let's roll the intro, we'll talk about it. And real quick, if I can just have 37 seconds of your time, who wants to win a brand new Z06 plus $30,000 for $25. I have partnered with Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix Association for your chance to win big for a little bit of money. Let me show you how to real quick. Go to this website right here. It'll be in the description below. Click on that link. You're going to hit donate now. If you use my promo code right there, you get 30% more tickets. Put all your info right here. Hit continue and you're all set. And you have until September 30th, 2024 and drawing date will be October 8th. All I ask is that if one of my viewers uses my promo code and wins this car and the cash, you have to buy me lunch and let me drive the car. All right, deal? Cool. All right, on to the video. What's up guys, happy Friday. So yeah, I bought the car four years ago yesterday and I thought today would be a good excuse or a good time to go over my top five most impactful mod for the C5 Z06. If you're getting into one and you wanna start doing stuff, you're gonna see a huge difference and the best return on your investment, if you will. These are the five things I've done that really made a huge difference in the quality and feel of the car. We'll start at number five and number one being the most impactful. I'll throw a few honorable mentions in there as well. All right, well, I'm leaving for work, so we'll talk about it on my way into work. How's that sound? Let's do a cold start. Damn, this car just looks so good to me. Loving it. busy weekend. Follow the channel. I get in the house ready for sale. I go to start the AC the other day. It doesn't work. So now I'm troubleshooting that. Thought it was run star capacitor. It wasn't. But I'll figure it out. I always do. Alright, this is one of those videos where they are in order. We'll start with five. We'll go to one. How's that sound? Alright, so number five. Exhaust. Now I don't mean cap back. Cap back is nice, but where you're really gonna see a good return in your investment for your money, well spent, is your headers. Now you can throw a cat back on a C5, any trim, it'll sound good, but put headers on it, it'll really wake it up. Uh, even headers from the stock titanium exhaust sound really good on the C5Z. Uh, I run LG long tubes, seven eighth inch, and these things sound so good. That paired with a verbal tune and a billy boat, Man, to me, this is a perfect setup. Uh, headers aren't terribly expensive. You can get some cheap knockoffs on Amazon or eBay. I want to say for a few hundred dollars, but for a good set, you're going to spend some money, but you're going to free up some horsepower and it's going to sound so good, so rewarding. But, but yeah, headers paired with the cat bag, paired with high flow cats, best way to go. But if you just want to do headers to wake up the exhaust, you're on a budget, I get it. But yeah, headers is a great way to really make the car sound prop. Really hear that 5.7 LS water six. All right, that's number five. Number four is aesthetic and useful. That is the night drive TV lights. Um, I know these are very divisive as far as how they look aesthetically on the car. Uh, when I first got them, I thought, man, they, the opening on the, uh, the headlamps is so small now, but now when I see a C5 in stock form all the way up, it's like a little parachute. I can't believe how big it is. I personally like the aesthetic. I think it fits the C5 Corvette just fine. Now there's round ones now too that, I honestly like the round ones, but I'm fine with the little squares I got. But why I included this on the list, not so much how they look, is how they perform at night. If you have a stock C5, you know how abysmal the, uh, the visibility is at night. It's almost dangerous. When I put these in, the price of emission was worth it just for how well you can see. Holy sh! If you have them, you know what I'm talking about. Low beams, high beams, they're phenomenal. They have their quarks to them, 
but they're they're a good product. It's a good little headlamp, and it really brings your uh, your C5 in the 21st century as far as what you can see at night. So I definitely recommend that, not only aesthetically but for usefulness. All right, number three. If your C5 is totally in stock form, your shifter is probably less than desirable. In stock form of the C5 shift assembly, the throws are criminally long. Uh, they call it a fisher, because you got a fish for the gears. It's sloppy, you're not really sure what gear you're in. It's not confidence inspiring at all. I highly recommend an MGW shift valve or shift assembly, if you will. Uh, when I got the car, it had a, uh, a Hurst, but that thing was, man, it felt like the transmission was stuck in the mud or cement, so it was terrible. Put it up here a little bit so you can hear me. No, MGW is so good. Now, I hear the new Tick one's pretty good too. I feel like it's a little more crisp, but almost too much. Again, I've never tried it, so I don't know. But the MGW really makes the car feel like a proper sports slash muscle car. Mist shifts are almost a thing in the past. It feels so good. Now I go through knobs like once every six months. Right now I have my MGW uh, paired with a C6 shift knob and I like this setup. I also have a setup that uses a flat stick with a really heavy one pound ball, which is really nice too. But I get bored with them so I just kind of go through them. But the assembly itself, the MGW, is machined so well. Um, it's got a really good weight to it. Everything just feels so damn good. Uh, you can't go wrong. I think they're about 300 right now, three to $400. Everything's changing right now, price-wise, but very impactful mods really wake up your, your C5 in one day. Can't recommend it enough. I don't know anyone that's done it like, man, I hate this. Um, really good mod. And the good thing is most people have done it to their C5. So on the, the used market, most of them have an MGW, which is nice. I feel like it's more rare to find a C5 in stock form with a stock shifter, I feel like. All right, so that was number three. Number four. This has been controversial, but it is what it is. If you have a C5 in stock form, you know the seats are visible. Uh, they're very flimsy if you will yes the seats in a c5 stock form not i'll care what trim you have they're very not inspiring especially around turns when i first got this car the stock seats i thought it was a joke i was like are you serious these things came stock in a c5 z06 um you go around a, an off ramp you fall out of the damn things some people love them the purists just love them because they, they came with the car i get it but these are the cheap amazon deals and it's night and day you can spend a little more on um Recaros, etc., and get a really nice set that's really gonna hold you in, and it's really gonna make the car feel like a proper sports car and hug you on a track or an off ramp. Um, it's not a terribly hard thing to do. The hardest part is fabricating the uh, the bracket to the new seat, but it's not that bad. But yeah, seats. Now, if you if you're older, you have back problems. I can see why you want to stay with the stock situation. But if you're going to track this guy or do a lot of spirited driving around a lot of turns, I definitely recommend a seat upgrade. All right, a couple honorable mentions real quick before we get to number one. Uh, that is a steering wheel. They've come a long way in the steering wheel game and the prices have come down a lot. Anything from just a plain leather uh, flat bottom to a carbon wheel, you can get them for about 500 bucks now. These be well over $1,000. And it'll really transform the feel of your T5, not only looks, but how it drives. Um, head unit, the stock two double den is just very 90s parts bin GM, as you know. Like I said, it's a 1.5, it's not a true two den. I went with a 1.5 den joint setup. You either love it or you hate it, I love it. It fits the car aesthetically and it fits in the stock vessel, which was a huge selling point for me. Coilovers. It's not gonna make or break your car. It's not gonna wow you, but it's good to have. I personally like the fact that in the coilovers, uh, you can adjust the dampening, not on the fly, but you can do it outside the car. And um, the ride height, it's easily adjustable, which is cool. And after almost three years, they feel 
great BC coil openers if you're not familiar. All right, so the number one most impactful mod, and it wasn't terribly expensive, but it was very labor intensive. And that was the polyurethane bushings I did a year and a half ago. That really, really made this car feel proper. That paired with the coilovers, phenomenal. Dare I say it, this car now feels as tight as my C8, believe it or not, sometimes even tighter. It feels brand new. Now, I don't know how it felt from the factory. I didn't, this car is 24 years old almost. But putting the polyurethane bushings in, those that don't know, I'll ride all the control arms, upper, lower control arms. Uh, it just really made the car feel brand freaking new, like right off the assembly line. And it's been over a year and a half, no change. Um, it is labor intensive to do it. I got a couple of videos on it, but for a couple hundred bucks, your car feels like a different car. That paired with the solid bushing for your, your steering rack with the coilovers and the poly bushings, it feels good. I, I you have to drive it to really understand what I mean, but uh, phenomenal uh, return on your investment. I can't say it enough. Polyurethane bushings, man. Great. Now, if you want to go with a brand new set of rubber, I'm sure you'll get the same results, but it's not going to last as long as the polyurethane deal. But yeah, probably one of the cheaper mods I did. Huge impact on the performance of your C5 Corvette. So. Alright guys, that's all I got for this fun little video. Again, it's been four years. So I thought this was the proper time to do this video. I've done well over 100 mods in this car. Everything from sound deadening to a stubby antenna. You name it, I've done in this car. So. Um, cool guys, that's all I got for today. I'll see you guys probably Monday for another video. Until then, you guys stay cool. Have a good weekend. Mark it.